So what if we could exploit a fraction of this energy, kind of use some multiplayer online gaming around a geographic setting? So our goal with the GeoGame prototype is to create a fun game that embeds some type of geographic learning. We wanted to have must massive multiplayer online gaming uh, capabilities. That's hundreds of, of people joining. Simulations that are played on top of a GIS as if it was a board game we were playing on. Having uh, ability to have the real world feed into the game. So we can bring in real time weather, ground conditions, demographics, anything. And really also put emphasis on the social interaction, the collaboration aspects. So the first prototype we created was really, really bare bones. It was two years ago, and our first mission was to, just to create an, an, a, a real-time editing component to a map. Uh, it was built in open layers. The next iteration was built with uh, the Google Earth API. It was brand new by then. It was also multi-user. You could log in concurrently, having real-time interaction over the map. Uh, you can do real-time editing, you can have chats, and, and also add additional geodata. So you can search for a KML, you just pull it up, and, and uh, that could be part of the game. The third prototype was a little uh, digression on one of those uh, touch tables, where we also looked into how we can embed service-oriented computing into this. So similar to a risk game, uh, but instead of using lookup tables for the troop replenishments, we were using GDP statistics, uh, population statistics, to uh, inform that. So you would actually learn a little bit about uh, what the economy and population of different states in the U.S. was. And also, um, we also pulled in weather data to um, um, provide some kind of... Uh, information about how easy you could move across the state. So up in Ohio right now, terrible winter conditions, hard to move troops through, so that would affect uh, the game. And it was also really cool. Most recent development then is called the GeoGame Green Revolution. That's uh, something that we're currently testing in geography classes. And what we want to achieve is to have our students play this game and understand a little bit more about what we mean with the Green Revolution. And um, we built it using a Sun-developed platform for a mass massive multiplayer online gaming called Project Dark Star. And we used the NASA WorldWind interface as our, our geographic platform. That made sense simply because both were written using Java so they could easily be stitched together. Um, we wanted to, as I said, emphasize uh, the, the social aspects. So um, let's see. Um, we, we were thinking about how does people um, behave or, or what are our, our, our situation when we do things in the real world. We take on roles. So I could be a father. I could be a professor in, in one role. I could be a soccer coach in another role. And I would take on these identities similar to the sorcerers in, in this other game. Uh, so we can have a master profile, but then we assume a character and then we form a cohort and the cohort then takes on some kind of objective, some kind of task, and build a scenario from that. So we formulate uh, a setting in terms of the geographic setting, the rules, the regulations, and also some data that we need to, to uh, perform the whole gameplay. So this is what it looks like right now. Uh, there's a little interface. We have the map in the middle. I can't show it online, sorry. Uh, you can bring up different layers. There is... Um, um, showing how you can act out uh, the role of a farmer in rural India. So you try to maximize your production, either by choosing traditional uh, methods or with enhanced wheat or, or fertilizers. You can also do transactions, like there's a market, sort of eBay style. You can make bids and you can put up uh, labor for, for sale and, and all kinds of things. We've built everything with open standards, so much of what you see relies on a configuration file that's written in an ontology um, definition. So it's a separate ontology file that you then, when you start the game, could pick another one. It would be another setting, another game, maybe. And also the rule engine could be modified using that ontology. KML is used for the data import. And the future work is then to just kind of tune this in and then uh, allow anyone to use it and kind of build further. Uh, one of the important things I think we can see with this is that the emergent properties that come out of having 
multiple people play this. So let's say we did this farm game in a number of classes. We were testing this quarter, uh, and then aggregate the results. So if every, every village is doing really good, that automatically uh, the demand would drop for crops, right? Some simple economic model could be plugged into that. So you could see crop prices drop, and you wouldn't get as much out of your yield. And that would also be kind of a learning experience. So that would be it. <laughs>